As we're going to be using Rancher 2 to manage our Kubernetes cluster, we're going to need to use the RKE or the Rancher Kubernetes Engine command line utility to install all the required software on our individual nodes. We're going to create a new Ansible role that will manage the creation of our Rancher cluster YAML file. We'll make use of our inventory to dynamically customize this file and then we'll create a new make file command whereby we'll use a Docker container to run the RKE command line utility, which means we don't need to install anything locally on our machine. As we have a new concern, which is the management and maintenance of our Rancher cluster, I'm going to create a new role in Ansible using our existing make create role command. I'm also going to create a new playbook, which I'm going to call RKE cluster.yaml. Now this playbook is slightly different to the previous two that we've created, as the outcome of running this playbook should impact our local computer rather than a remote server. The outcome that we need to achieve is the creation of a rancher-cluster.yaml file, which is going to take our Ansible inventory and convert it into a file that Rancher can use to provision our cluster. That file will exist on our local computer, but it will be used by the RKE command to provision our remote cluster. We're going to use Ansible to help us create the rancher-cluster.yaml file that the RKE command needs to run successfully. And we've got all the information available to us by way of our inventory, but we need to create a file that looks a little something like this. And in order to do that, we'll need to define our own template that creates that output. Ansible uses the Ginger 2 templating syntax, which is really similar to things like Symfony's Twig and JavaScript's Swig. I'm going to start off by adding the tag of Ansible managed at the top. I've made a typo there, it should be managed with a D. And what this will do is when the real file is created, this will be replaced by a comment which says Ansible managed. Now this isn't necessary, but it's really helpful because if you're ever manually editing files and you see this tag, then hopefully that's the kick that you need to remind yourself not to mess around with this file by hand. One of the nice things about Visual Studio Code or VS Code is that it's going to provide us with some suggested plugins that may make our development process a little bit easier by providing things like syntax highlighting and stuff like that. Now I have honestly no preference on which of the Ginger template highlighting plugins are the best, so I'm just picking one at random and installing it. Now what we're about to do is very similar to the approach we took with our group vars for our rancher 2 kubernetes nosyaml file. So the syntax should look pretty familiar to you. We are going to take this one step further though because whilst the demonstration configuration gives each of our nodes every single role, in our example we're not going to do this, we're going to have separate roles for different nodes and we've already done this by way of our groups inside our inventory. Now this will mean that we need to replicate our for loop multiple times, once for each group. But in my opinion, this is a nicer approach. If you prefer the other one, I've got it in the documentation. So feel free to copy and paste from there. Now as a big heads up, the formatting of the outputted file is really important. And in order to get this right, the formatting of our template is going to end up looking a bit weird. Now in truth, I have no scientific way of determining how to figure this out. All I ended up doing was writing it out the way I expected it to work and then seeing the output and realizing that I needed to make some changes. We're going to use the host vars host ansible host variable expression, much like we did in the video on load balances. So if that one's a new one on you, watch that video where it's explained in a little bit more depth. The Rancher example documentation suggests that our user is going to have the username of Ubuntu, but in our case, that's not the case. Our user has the username of Rancher Kates. But I don't really want to use that either because that hard codes us to using that particular username. A better approach, in my opinion, is to make use of what we've already got, which is that for each of our hosts in this group, we're going to have a group vars config which is going to specify an array of users to create when these servers are provisioned. So we're going to take the first entry out of that users array and take the username property and use that. Lastly, for each node, we need to provide a roles array, even though we're only going to have one role per node, it still needs to be an array. And it's fairly straightforward what that role is going to be for each of the groups. Now before I sort out the other two groups, the control plane and the worker groups, I'm going to drop in the services etcd snapshot true config, as this is probably going to end up getting pushed off the screen when we've got our three groups. Speaking of the three groups, it's the control plane and worker groups that we need to create, and remember to update the for loop and also the role. 
So just because we've created a template file doesn't mean that Ansible is going to know how to convert that file into something else. We need to explicitly tell Ansible how to do this. I'm going to do this with a local action. It's a good practice to get into to name everything in Ansible. I've mentioned this already. Here I'm describing that we're about to create our Rancher cluster YAML file. Now local action is a shorthand syntax which is going to allow me to specify that this particular task should be run against the local computer. Now there are various ways to write this command and I'd advise you check out the Rancher documentation if you're at all interested. You can also look in the show notes where I've given an alternative way of writing out this exact same code. What's important here to me is not really the syntax, it's the action that we're taking. We're going to use the templating module to take our source template that we've just created and we're going to output something inside the resulting Docker container, so not on our disk directly, but indirectly via a volume, a file which we'll call rancher-cluster.yaml that should live inside the CRV Ansible directory. And because we've got that mapping already set up inside our run playbook command, all of this nicely works and we should end up with a new file on our disk whenever we run this playbook. Speaking of running this playbook, none of this will actually work unless we either directly target this playbook or in our case, we're gonna add this as an import playbook entry into our site.yaml master playbook. Now as a little hack or a workaround, I'm gonna comment out the other two playbooks so that when I run the make run playbook command, only this particular playbook runs. I don't need to worry about anything happening on any of the other nodes. However, because I made a typo earlier on in the video, the first run of this is going to result in a fail. So I need to go through and fix all them end fours. I'm gonna warp speed through that because watching me fix typos is not the most fun and I already highlighted it anyway. So hopefully you didn't make the same one. And when I'm sat there recording the video, I'm thinking, okay, no problem. This one should definitely run the second time. And of course it doesn't because I've got Ansible manager and not Ansible managed. One day I will learn to type. So again, I already flagged that one up. Hopefully you didn't make the same one, but if you do, then at least it's quite a nice message. It tells you what you did wrong. This time when I run the playbook, it runs successfully, which means in theory, I ended up with a new file on my local disk, the rancher-cluster.yaml file, and that should have all of my inventory correctly populated in a very nice dynamic fashion. Now we're pretty much good to go at this point. I'd just like to do a little bit of tidy up before we do, and then we can start using this file with the RKE command.